Breaking news into Texas Tech athletics. What has been discussed for weeks has now become official. With Texas Tech football, they have extended Zach Kitley and Tim DeRuiter, as well as eight other prominent football personnel members. Hey, how's it going, everybody? I'm R.C. Maxwell here for the Back to 12 podcast. If you want to be a part of the fastest-growing Texas Tech YouTube community, all you got to do is hit that subscribe button, and while you're at it, hit the bell right next to it to stay in the know on Texas Tech news and rumors all year long on your one-stop shop for everything Texas Tech. Of course, I'm talking about the Back to 12 podcast channel. Right, let's jump into this as Texas Tech Athletics released that Texas Tech has announced the contract extension for staff. Texas Tech has agreed to multi-year contracts with all 10 members of its coaching staff, plus two prominent support staff members. Joey McGuire said this about the contract extensions. We're thankful for our entire staff, with, and they will enter next year on multi-year contract extensions. This was a top priority for me personally, as I truly believe in the staff and the direction of this program. The leadership and the support we receive from our administration and Red Raider Nation are unmatched, and we look forward to continuing to build upon the success of this past season. Now, Texas Tech agreed to three-year contract extensions with defensive coordinator Tim DeRuiter, as well as offensive coordinator Zach Kitley. And now when you look at well, the pay structure of this Tim DeRuiter's new contract agreement is worth three point five one five million, excuse me, over three years. So he'll be getting paid about one point oh five million a year. Not too bad. And while Zach Kitley was given a raise to two point five five million as part of a staff and assistant pool increase by nearly seven hundred and ninety eight thousand dollars. Might as well round up and say 800 k to roughly $7.5 million in McGuire's second season. Uh, this is by far the largest in program history. Now, in total, according to the release, all 10 of Texas Tech's current assistant coaches are now under multi-year agreements heading into 2023. And so who does that include? That includes C.J. Agu. That includes the inside linebacker, Coach Bookbinder, tight end coach Josh Conkren. And then, of course, you got the QB hunter himself and Coach Fitch as well as that menacing man coaching the big nasties down in the trenches for the Texas Tech offense. Of course, the legendary Coach Stephen Hamby. Now, obviously, Kenny Perry will get an extension as well. Marcel Yates as well. And then the two prominent role position players in terms of staff members, I should say, for Texas Tech that will be getting an extension is Brelo and then Antonio Hoffman as well. They both agreed to two-year contracts extensions. Who is Brelo is the strength and conditioning coach, associate athletic director for football administration is Antonio Hoffman. So one last thing on this too, it all comes for full circle, right, for Texas Tech. When you think about it, remember, Joey McGuire got that contract extension and the deal came out six year, $26.6 million. That was right after Texas Tech beat Ole Miss on December 28th. Obviously, an eight and five season changes a lot of things in the way that Texas Tech did it changes a lot of things, right? You go 4-0 and to end your season. You get Tyler Shuck back in the fold. And remember, Tyler Shuck has never lost a football game that he finished and started for the Red Raiders. He's 8-0 in those games, right? So now you got that continuity on both sides of the football. And I want to talk about that a little bit more. But before we do, give me your one-word reaction to hearing that Texas Tech is heavily investing in its football staff. Again, this is the largest pool of money for coaches that Texas Tech football has ever had in program history. Give me your one word down below in the comments. All right, I want to talk about continuity. I think that that is a big deal in college football that really isn't talked about enough, in my personal opinion. And Joe McGuire has made it a big point of emphasis to keep guys in here that are doing a good job in their position groups or as coordinators. And not even at that either. Strength coaches as well, as well as football admin staff, right? There's something to say about seeing the same people over and over again and getting to know them, building that bond, that family type environment and having that continuity. That just doesn't translate to on the field success. That translates to in the classroom. That translates to in the community. And these things all come together as one. And I promise you, you think, oh, well, 
these things off the field don't have as much of an impact on the field as you think, RC. That's wrong. That's false. You build that continuity and you can build that trust together. That brings results onto the football field. I don't think you can really overstate how critical it was for Texas Tech to bring back Tim DeRuiter, who was highly coveted, by the way. There were multiple Power 5 schools coming after him. Same thing with Zach Kitley. I can tell you this for sure. Two SEC schools were going after Zach Kitley to be their offensive coordinator. Um, guess what? He's staying in the 806. And that's because Texas Tech upped the ante when it came to the position coach pool of money as well as the coordinator pool of money. And that cannot be understated as well. The investment into the program right now. You're seeing it in the facilities, you're seeing it in NIL, and now you're seeing it in the coaching staff. And that's how good football programs run in modern college football. If you have a guy you want and the guy you need and the guy that is getting proven results for you at a coordinator spot, what do you do? You pay him. You pay him because you know you need him and it builds continuity, right? Zach Kitley and Tyler Shuck, that is a that's a dynamic not a lot of teams want to match up against, right? Even Baron Morton, too. So you got to keep a guy like that. You've already seen what Tim DeRuiter does on the defensive side of the football at multiple stops, and nothing changed at Texas Tech. Now he had a top-10 draft pick in Tyree Wilson here in a couple of months. Out in Kansas City, he'll go to, well, if you look at mock drafts, he's either going to go to the Arizona Cardinals, Seattle Seahawks, some team like that, but he's a top-10 pick. But you also bring him back and a bunch of other guys. You think about it. Rashad Williams, Malik Dunlap. You got Rabbit as well. You're bringing back defensive linemen and Bradford and Hutchings. You're bringing back core guys. Bringing back core guys does not just mean players. Coaches are very instrumental in what goes on in terms of on-field success. Right Now, players got to make plays. We all know that. But these coaches have proven in just one short year that they know how to put guys in the proper position to succeed. And they are what Texas Tech needs moving forward. It was paramount. And good for Joey McGuire knowing it too. Good for him for knowing it. Because sometimes coaches think, oh, if something goes right, they've got an ego. Joey McGuire doesn't have that. He knows he needs these guys around him to succeed. And good for him for knowing so and making sure his dudes get paid. That's what it's all about. It's a family type environment right now for Texas Tech. You can feel it not only in the football program, but what's going on in Red Raider Nation surrounding this football program. It's really starting to build that bond back up, and that's going to pay huge dividends on the gridiron moving forward for Texas Tech. So one more time, Texas Tech announces contract extensions for a variety of Texas Tech football staff members. They will have multi-year contract extensions for all 10 members of the coaching staff, plus two predominant support staffs, which include, well, strength and conditioning and the football admin side of it. Good job by Joey McGuire to keep Zach Kitley here and Tim DeRuiter and every other staff member as well. One more time, I am RC Maxfield for the latest Texas Tech news and rumors. And if, hey, if you want to be a part of the fastest growing Texas Tech YouTube channel community, hit that subscribe button to stay in the know right here on the Back to 12 podcast channel.